Yo, explorers, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I know I am for sure. Currently, it is Tuesday, January 11th, 2022, at 4.15 in the afternoon of when I'm filming this video. Currently, I'm parked at a place called Memorial Forest, which is a fairly decent size pullout off the side of US Highway 64. There's over a dozen spaces, and it's only eight miles up the road from the town of Ducktown, Tennessee, in the United States on planet Earth. Supposedly, Every tree in this forest can count for the number of Confederate soldiers that died back in the Civil War. And the amount of acres here is somewhere around 160,000 out of the total 650,000 acres of the Cherokee National Forest. So that's only one quarter, which is insane. There's so much land back there and endless, endless, endless unclaimed trails that you can just hang out all day, all night year round and do whatever you want if you're that kind of person that lives completely way out there in the back country only four miles up the road is a place called thunder rock recreation area and that uh splits off to the right so if you continue straight i think it is on national forest road number 44 45 i mean then you can go all the way back in there drive around for days <laughs> i looked up on youtube there's a place called Jack's River Falls. It's like an all-day excursion. You have to cross like a ton of uh, creeks to get there. But I think I'll go there in the summer. And only about 16 miles up the road from uh, Thunder Rock, there's Benton Falls. And if you read the title of my video here on YouTube, it's called Extended Van Life Adventure at Benton Falls, Tennessee. Then, uh, and if you've been following me for a while, like the past couple of years, then you know that's literally my most favorite place on earth. <laughs> it's like a heavenly oasis paradise, buddy. <laughs> so the reason why I'm filming this video now and not tomorrow the 12th, which I was supposed to film it on, is because it is still pretty early. And I might as well just head up there before the sun goes down. And uh, I think sometime in the end of November 2021, when I was at my mom's house, I was looking up some land out there. And I found one out of... The very few out there pieces of property, it's five acres, it's $75,000, and it's going to take me about 20 years and by putting down about somewhere in between 1200 to 1300 US dollars a month, which will total to, to about $300,000 to build my Traveler's Adventure Village. Basically, the main thing, which is like 60% of the cost, is the museum of my life. <laughs> so, in the back of my mind, I'm trying to plan these videos out for that. And if you're wondering when that's going to happen, hopefully I can save up that money throughout my 20 years of overseas trips, which will be from the year 2034 to 2053, and then start building it in 2054, in like the spring or something like that, uh, just before I turn 60 years old, <laughs> which is nuts. So for the time of me recording this, I got 33 years to do that, plenty of time. And the van I'm in right now is a 2006 Chevy Express 2500 gas cargo van that I converted to living space all by myself. <laughs> it's freaking amazing. And I plan on being in this thing at least for the first eight years. I got 109,000 miles on it. So hopefully it lasts to over 200,000. <laughs> and then I'll upgrade to a hybrid Sprinter van. So now that all that stuff is out of the way... <laughs> I think I'm just going to go ahead and head, head up the road now. Please hit that subscribe button so you, uh, you don't miss another video and come along for the ride. And check this out. Here's a quick little tour of my van. There's my photography wall, as you can see. It says Eric Casey Photography in gold, and there's all of the pictures there. I think there's 196 individual ones. Here's my nightstand with the bungee cord holding everything on. There's my safe with my cardboard box full of food. There's my Mr. Buddy heater. There's the driver's seats, my trash can. And finally, here's my bed with the tools and stuff under my bed. Here's the garage space. Here's my safe humanity picture real quick, which is cool. Here's the front, which is my view. It's pretty freaking sweet. And here I am again, just chilling. So I have to go ahead and put my boots on and head up the road, buddy. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm so glad I actually made a trip back out here. I'll definitely come back this summer.
please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed that footage. It was a lot of fun, but I think I was going a tad bit too slow, but trying to keep the speed limit. And there was a bunch of cars behind me. I think a purple, like, sports car or something was, like, I think the guy was kind of mad because I was uh, holding him up. I just went over that bridge, like you saw, that ginormous hydro dam here of a uh, Oki something or other. It's freaking amazing. That was literally the biggest pipe I've ever seen. And uh, here's my van. I'm just going to park right here for tonight. I drove up here a little ways. I might include some of that footage too but i turned around and it's kind of hilarious that there's only four pullouts you know which are places you can park for the night or whatever in this entire freaking force only four on this section most likely there's a ton way back there but again you can be driving for at least 20 30 40 miles or something that's how big this place is which actually considering how few is just in this section here i miss the jefferson national forest in virginia so much more it's crazy how good i have it back there if you've been following me for the past couple years would have seen it back there jefferson national forest for number 14 of Cripple creek virginia so <laughs> it's so much better back there there's like nothing here it's weird how is it that the biggest places like in the east coast or whatever or i guess if we're just talking about this spot because i don't really been around the world yet <laughs> it's crazy how the biggest places end up having the smallest amount of places to park <laughs> it's weird but yeah there's my van I think i'm just gonna grab some sleep because i'm pretty exhausted and then i'll head up to benton falls in the morning so i just hopped out to pop the hood and look in my engine and see what was going on with that very high-pitched whining sound that is very rare i can't really tell how how often it does it it turns out i got low power steering fluid <laughs> i can't believe i didn't buy any in yesterday's video at autozone down there in the town of hawassi <laughs> so i'm definitely gonna grab some at benton tennessee in the town there and i'm not, not gonna be able to do any more editing tonight because my laptop is almost dead my jackery battery is at zero percent so i'm gonna have to plug it into an outlet up there in the main part of Benton Falls where the lake is and everything. So hopefully I can actually get up the road. There's not too many trees down. But it's I think it's almost eight o'clock and I'm not really tired, so I decided to fix myself some of these Hormel chicken Alfredo things. I have the second one in my box there, but that's about it. And as you can see, it's currently cooking. It's probably almost done at this point. I'll probably have this thing on for about two minutes now. And yeah, I'm just chilling. There's my chocolate milk. This light over here is super cool that my old neighbors, Brian and Claudia, got me Christmas. So, just gonna chow that down real quick. And I guess I'll continue this vlog to the next day, buddy. can't believe I'm here almost three years later. This is freaking amazing, dude. I currently have my solar panel right down there at the ground and it's bringing in about 46 watts. And once the sun comes out completely, it'll bring in about 50 or something like that. So it's definitely charging up, but can't really upload yesterday's video up here because well, laptop's almost dead and that thing's not charged up enough <laughs> i think it's 11 15 i'm just gonna walk up here to the gazebo check it out check it out again and give you guys some cool b-roll footage <laughs> and yeah just gonna relax and then later on i'm gonna head down there to the uh lake section and stuff i'm not gonna fly my drone down there but i will get some footage and check this out there's the gazebo oh my goodness this is freaking amazing oh yeah 
I did see three dogs come off that trail up there. They didn't really bark or anything. I guess they were just chilling. <laughs> I don't know if they were abandoned or if they were actually someone's dogs. Maybe the person down there, they did go down the mountain. So I'd imagine whoever lives down there in a house, it's theirs. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> But look at this. I had no idea if all these logs were here the first time I came up here. I think at least some of them were. But Dean, like, you saw that footage? <laughs> it was nuts, man. They definitely had a storm out here. And like always, when I first came up here, I think there was just as much graffiti and stuff. And as you can see, here's the gazebo with the old style roofs. It has a bunch of moss on it. Here's on the inside with the 2017 graffiti right in the middle and here's the view of Benton Falls <laughs> actually if you go back to my first video or watch my uh, channel trailer or my uh, three-year life recap or something like that you would actually see this part somewhere in there I think it caught at my greatest moments or something pretty amazing look at this it's actually more clear this time last time it was a little bit foggy dude look at this <laughs> Oh my goodness, dude. I cannot believe I'm back at Benton Falls. This is the second time I'm here. And check this out. I'm currently standing underneath the gazebo, and there's the town of Benton, Tennessee. Oh my goodness, explorers. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's almost like a repeat <laughs> of when I first came here. But yeah, here's this little pathway. Ain't really much of a pathway, but it is pretty cool to say the least. And there's my van, just chilling. <laughs> Jackery battery is currently charging. I got my solar panel up there on the roof. Just gonna lock my door right here. Close this and make sure it doesn't actually hit the cord or anything. That's a check. And now I'm just gonna head down here to the lake. <laughs> but check this out. Here's gazebo trail number 146. It's only 0.3 miles over there to the campground. <laughs> Look at this trail. Heck yeah. I'm loving this. <laughs> anyway, please comment below what you think about this place and if you've been here before. But check this out. This tree is straight up leaning. I'm surprised this thing is actually still on the ground. <laughs> this is nuts. Oh, what is this down here? What is this concrete thing? <laughs> this is wild. What is this? <laughs> is this some kind of spring or well? Whoa. Who in the heck made this? Huh. It doesn't even go down at all. It's not even a hole. It's just some old rock style square looking, uh, I don't know, contraption of some sort. Actually, this might be one of those old furnaces, one of those old iron furnaces, like back there, you know, at Raven's Cliff if you, in Virginia, if you've been following me for that long. <laughs> But yeah, all that's in here is just a log. <laughs> There's little hooks in this side there. Looks like that's a straight drop. But dude, this is freaking amazing. <laughs> Benton Falls slash Chihuahua Recreation Area was this big. The campgrounds back there are pretty big too. Obviously it's closed for the season right now in the winter, so I don't really recommend you stay in there unless you uh, find a way to pay. But check this out. <laughs> this is amazing. Check out this cool little opening. There is a bridge over there that I just filmed. 
and I hope you enjoyed that scenery. If you just give this video a like to let me know. But look at the lake. <laughs> it's super cool today. It's a clear day. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> like I said in another video or something, I'm definitely going to make a trip back out here in the summer. This place will be perfect in the summer. <laughs> Dude, look how nice this is, man. I can't believe I'm here right now. <laughs> This is freaking awesome. Check this out. I'm currently chilling at the Chihuahua Gazebo right here in Benton, Tennessee. I was just over there on the lake down the trail. I haven't checked out the falls yet, but it's kind of too late to do that. I don't really feel like hiking anymore. And I'm fixing myself some beefaroni. Thankfully, my Jackery battery charged up to 58% so I can uh, continue editing and watch it back and then continue this video tomorrow morning and just chill up here. <laughs> until I head down to Indian Boundary Recreation Area. Well, look at this. This is freaking awesome, you dude. <laughs> this is awesome, yo. I'm loving this so far. Here's my van, if you haven't seen it yet. I'm currently sitting on my bed, and here's the uh, living space. It looks like my beefaroni is almost done, so I'm gonna chow it down and watch back my edit, and then just relax. <laughs> this is so cool, man, and I'm the only one up here. <laughs> okay, it's about 4.10 right now, and the sun is just going down, as you can see. Check out that big tower back there. <laughs> it's freaking amazing. I'm pretty sure it's a cell phone tower and potentially combined as a radio tower. And as you can see, there's my van peeking through the trees back there just chilling. I just walked a little ways down this uh, paved road to step over these crazy amount of sticks and little pine tree branches that fell during the storm. And I'm 100% sure I've made my mark here at Penton Falls. As you can see, I put four of my stickers on the sign, four of my business cards, and if I walk down here to my van, I put another four on the size of this super industrial style metal bear safe trash can, which is cool. And then I put the last two stickers on my side little visor thing or whatever you want to call it, auto event shade or whatever. There's 10 on each of these uh, pieces of little paper. I have a total of 50 left. I keep them right in there in my dash, as you can see. And if you're wondering where I bought them from, I ordered them from Vistaprint, so I don't really have much of a supply. But at some point, <laughs> I will be ordering, like, quite a lot. And if you want some, then, I don't know, maybe I'll start up a PayPal or something, <laughs> which is cool. So, just gonna toss this in here because it's trash. <laughs> then I'm gonna walk up here to the gazebo and enjoy the sunset. <laughs> I'm still here chilling at the gazebo, enjoying the sunset, and I just so happened to look at Google Maps, and it turns out, just down there in the town of Benton, Tennessee, there's a Dollar General, a Family Dollar, two gas stations, a Sonic Drive-In, a bakery, a pizza place, a diner, the First Baptist Church, and obviously your average courthouse and school and stuff like that, and if you don't know what county this is, this is Polk County, and then that uh, piece of property that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, to get to it, it's 18 miles if you go all the way down there in Parksville Road. I'm pretty sure it runs through there somewhere and then you go directly through the town and then you uh, drive down i think benton station road and yeah it's only 18 miles it's pretty cool and as, as you can see this clip here i recorded my phone screen on google maps there's me zooming in and from here it looks like it's four and a half miles in a straight line <laughs> but yeah it's pretty interesting dude anyway just gonna continue to enjoy the sunset and the view here look how flat it is <laughs> death Yep. <laughs> I'm standing on this rock and somebody spray painted a word death. <laughs> and look at all this trash, dude. Like, I don't understand why people litter all the time. It's like a dump back here. There's like logs that are completely freaking burnt. I guess they've been doing fires. This thing is like covered in graffiti. I mean, what can you do? <laughs> you know, the law can really do so much. <laughs> they already do enough as it is <laughs> to stop crime and everything, but I don't know. It's a cool place. <laughs> but yeah, just gonna walk back over here to my van and then probably get some sleep. Just gonna park here for the night and then head out in the morning down to the Indian Boundary Recreation Area. Bro, check out this sunset way up here. This is freaking amazing. And here's the inside of my rolling house. As you can see, 
I temporarily plugged in my lights so you can see me in this clip. And if you're wondering what my financial situation is in van life, currently my income is 600 US dollars a month. I get it from social security and my expenses are about half that, like 300 or something. My biggest expense is gas. And then my Verizon wireless unlimited data plan is about $116 a month. I also pay seven bucks a month for my OneDrive cloud storage, 40 bucks a month for my Adobe Creative Cloud software. Right here on my 2020 13-inch MacBook Air, it's pro programs such as Premiere Pro, which is what I use to edit these videos. I currently have it up right here editing this one that you're watching right now. And then these two down here are Photoshop and Lightroom. And then I have others on there that I don't really use. And then I pay $26 a month for a business plan through Squarespace. And the link to my photography website is always at the top of the description below every single video. I have a lot of cool stuff out there, especially my activism post. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. I also have something called my future goals. One of them is my Traveler's Adventure Village, like I mentioned earlier. Here's the post. You can check it out on the link below if you're interested, but I made this picture here by hand with colored pencils, and then I scanned it in my uh, mom's printer and uh, I think it's she has an HP or something so it turned out pretty good. I also edited it with Lightroom on my phone to make it look a bit better and if you scroll down there's some extra links and here's the summary you know just some random stuff and then the beginning of the list which are like 10 objects look at all that <laughs> it's pretty insane and i also put the date down here and obviously i created it below every almost every post here on my website look at all that that's so cool and obviously it says on here that i can put down 900 a month for 20 years to see about two hundred sixteen thousand dollars. and over here in my calendar you can pause right here on the screen if you want to read my financial estimation that are created on Monday, November 15th, 2021. The reason why I'm going to have to save up more is because this is not totally everything. And the prices could be way different in 33 years from now. But I went to like a bunch of like official websites of where I'd most likely be ordering this stuff. And it is in the US. I don't remember where I looked it up, like what website or location or anything. But it's like an official steel like place where you can buy these steel eye beams and all kinds of stuff and obviously as you can see here's the main thing i wanted to show on here is the uh museum look at that one hundred thirty thousand dollars. you have no idea how much stuff i'm gonna be putting on that property it's pretty freaking amazing but i only need two and a half acres so that piece of land over there's five acres which is awesome <laughs> here's the uh landwatch.com website where i found it from as you can see, 75 grand. Polk County is just down uh, John Hill Road in Benton, Tennessee. I mean, obviously, this is going to disappear by that time. <laughs> but if sometime, uh, when the time comes, if the next owner does decide to sell again, this will be so awesome. It's like perfect. It's like completely freaking perfect. It's like right there. <laughs> I also edited a picture, as you can see. Here's one I got at 35 millimeters, and then here's one I got at 55 millimeters, and then here's the official one that I cropped all the way in. And I actually edited it on Lightroom here on my laptop, and then I dehazed it big time. <laughs> Brought up the colors a little bit and stuff like that. And if you're wondering what camera I was using for almost the entirety of my four year journey to van life, it's this 2014 model Sony RX100 just standard little point and shoot camera and i always put it on my old manfro tripod but clearly i don't use it anymore because this phone is perfect <laughs> for what i'm doing now but it still works it's great uh, i think i've dropped it like three times throughout my journey and it's, it still works to this day <laughs> it's pretty cool the battery doesn't really last that long anymore so i have to plug it into an, an external battery but yeah, it's pretty nice. Anyway, I think that's all I wanted to update you guys on. I guess I'll go ahead and shut these lights off, grab some sleep, and then continue on down the road tomorrow. Check this out. Here's another overlook, buddy. Oh yeah, it's called Sugarloaf Mountain Overlook. That's freaking amazing. It's the next day, it's almost two o'clock, and <laughs> I'm finally rolling out 54 miles all the way down here to Indian Boundary Recreation Area. But check this out. It's like a miniature Blue Ridge Parkway, dude. <laughs> this is freaking amazing. Look how nice it is up here.
just made it down here to Indian Boundary Recreation Area. Along the way, I stopped at Hardee's to grab a number nine chicken sandwich meal. I just ate all of the uh, fries and then most of the uh, chicken sandwich. There's my sweet tea. And boom, here's the view. Oh my goodness, check this out. Looks like there's a trail sign and then your standard stuff, like always, <laughs> like a trash can. Then there's the uh, lake and the gravel parking lot and other stuff. The campground and beach section is uh, off to the right over there on the main road that was paved. And then I just went to the left and then, uh, yeah, the uh, campground section was closed and stuff. So I didn't park over there at the beach section, but I just parked here. It's a super good spot. And then for those of you who watched the first time I came down here to this area, Benton Falls and stuff like that, you know that I parked on uh, campsite number two in the Cherokee National Forest on Sitico Road. That's about, uh, I would have to say probably like 16 miles or something like that down the road over there. This is insane. And just like Benton Falls, it's like heavenly oasis paradise up here. It's a lake hidden way up here in the mountains. <laughs> Hope you just enjoyed this amazing scenery back here. If I drive a couple miles down Sitka Road in the Cherokee National Forest, please comment below what you thought about it. And as you saw back there, there was like a double camp campground. It was pretty massive. And went across that steel bridge with all that graffiti on it. It was pretty insane. But check this out. Look at all those whitewater rapids down there. Sitka Creek, this is awesome, dude. About to go over this bridge real quick and continue down here to the spot I parked last time. I got a little bit more ways to go, I think. But check this out. Here's campsite number 12 and there's a plastic chair just chilling, knocked over. <laughs> that's pretty insane. But yeah, it's about 4.48 right now and it's getting late. So I'm just gonna keep on going, buddy. I highly recommend to continue watching to the end of the video because there's like four blooper clips of this road, <laughs> which is insane. I still can't believe how many potholes I went over. It was ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, check this out. Following it down here to the place I'm parking, do you guys remember this? <laughs> it's insane, isn't it? It's hilarious that I'm back here now. Like my scooter was there, my green tent was down there, and now I'm in my van. <laughs> Almost three years later, how hilarious is that, dude? And then just gonna actually get some sleep tonight because last night I stayed up until like five in the morning watching movies, <laughs> which is cool. If you're interested in the movies I watched on YouTube, they're free. I watched the Outlander, uh, Quantum Apocalypse, 
and fly 7,500 or something. <laughs> it was pretty insane. But yeah, check this out. Here's the good old campfire. Looks like someone hitched their uh, propane bottle. <laughs> Here's Sitico Creek. Looks pretty freaking amazing. And I think that graffiti on that rock up there is new. And then that yellow sign up here says flash flood uh, area or hazard or something like that. Yeah, flash flood hazard. And then it says pack in, pack out. There's some people down here at uh, number three just chilling. Uh, I didn't see their vehicle, so maybe there's a way to like pull in there. But yeah, look at this. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, way down here in the middle of the freaking nowhere of Tennessee, yo. First time I came down here in my video, uh, as you just saw, that footage was pretty amazing. This is what it looks like, but here's more of a better view. It's basically a roundabout style parking lot. There's where I parked, then just down the road, already past it, is something called Tennessee Memorial, and then down there is something called Shoda Memorial. So, just gonna walk down here in between these two trees to check it out. And I'm pretty sure I pulled a muscle on my uh, right side uh, butt or something <laughs> when I sat down there at Bitten Falls little campground area. <laughs> Unfortunately, the outlet down there didn't really work that good. This place feels a lot like something called the Spit in the town of Squamish in British Columbia, Canada that I see in Chrome's videos all the time. <laughs> if you don't know him, his YouTube channel is Van CB Van Life. He's pretty much my number one favorite. I still watch him to this day. <laughs> but check this out. This is amazing, dude. That over there is the Little Tennessee River. Look at all these little plants and stuff. <laughs> all these little shrubs and trees. It looks like somebody actually went down there. Not too sure what all that is out there. Kind of looks like a beach or something. Here's a pole gate so vehicles can't go down. This is absolutely incredible, dude. Look at this, man. Freaking pine trees and stuff. In the process of uploading today's video over in the town of Ronroe, Tennessee, I'm going to download the Shutterfly app to my phone and order 60 copies of my The Death Jab data in one year picture, uh, like I mentioned in the beginning of my uh, backcountry driving to North Carolina's Lake James State Park video on this uh, second road trip on my van life adventure. And uh, I'm just going to put it up on the screen just once more. As you can see, like, clearly it's not doing what its purpose was. <laughs> clearly, it's not the V word and clearly i'm freaking done with seeing the stupid commercials and ads and crap on the radio and whatnot i'm over it it's insane that i'm over 300 miles away so far from any tv or anything but yet i have dreams of the stupid commercial <laughs> again i'm not going to see the v word but it's you know what dot gov oh crap <laughs> Can they freaking stop? I'm tired of wasting my freaking money on buying stuff. Anyway, I'm just gonna just order some copies of that anyway. I consider it my arsenal or ammo to the bullcrap they're trying to force on everyone. Still to this day over two years later. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about this crap because I don't freaking care anymore. But in the future, sometimes I will keep talking about it because that's just what I do. I will never stop fighting. But yeah, if you're interested in that stuff, like I mentioned before, just check out my activism post over on my website in the link below. But look at this. Here's Chota Memorial. I have no idea what these things are. It's pretty interesting though. Looks like there's a tombstone right there. And this is basically the Little Tennessee River. 
with all these cool little trees and whatnot. And I'm just walking around, just chilling, enjoying this cool morning. It's nine o'clock right now. It's me from the future. I thought I would add this part to the video before I uh, wrap it up back there at the actual memorial. I actually walked a little bit more ways down this trail and it pretty much ends at the river here. But check this out. There's geese a squawking over there on that island. <laughs> It's pretty freaking amazing. Looks like there's a bunch of trees that are down way up there on that mountain. And yeah, there's the sunrise. All these little shrubs and stuff. Looks like somebody abandoned their uh, coffee mug. <laughs> pretty muddy back here. And yeah, there's the geese. Here I am. I'm just chilling and I guess I'll cut back to the park back there. I have the entire rest of the day to hang out. I don't really have much more to add to my video. It exports pretty darn quickly on my MacBook. So I'll just get that out whenever I want. And I have two more videos on this trip. That's the Tale of the Dragon and Blue Ridge Parkway. After that, I have no idea where I'm going in February. <laughs> I have no freaking idea. And I'm barely going to have money to make it back. So yeah, this is kind of like the end. What, what a perfect place to kind of end my trip. I don't think there's any better place than this. Just look how it's laid out. <laughs> Freaking amazing, dude. I don't really think I have anything else to say. Just gonna enjoy this for the rest of the day and then wrap up this video right here. So, like always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next adventure. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All these freaking potholes, dude, are insane. Like I said, man, like I said, something is going to end up happening. God damn <laughs> Fall! Ooh. Fuck! <laughs> oh my goodness, that was hilarious. Am I in the time of my fucking life? <laughs> Damn, that's cool. My dash cam automatically recorded the uh, thing. That big ass fucking drop. That big ass pothole that I just went through. Apparently it needs that much pressure to actually trigger that. Dude, I'm like shocked right now, seriously. I'm surprised that this van is still going. Tony, dude, if my van starts in the morning, it's literally going to be a miracle. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. You keep digging. Well, excuse me.